I've been very interested in the phenomena of what the intelligence and military is called black sites. A black site is a place where the very existence of the place is a secret. And that's something that I'm very interested in as an artist because there's a whole tradition in art of thinking about landscapes and understanding what does the world look like. Well, what does a landscape look like that isn't supposed to be there, that, that nobody will acknowledge? Uh, so this is a particular, this is a political question, but this is also an aesthetic question. Like really, like literally, what does that look like, a place that's secret? This is an image taken from the desert in western Utah, where there's a, a part of the desert that is called Dugway Proving Grounds, which is where the military does some of their chemical and biological warfare work. This is a place that has a giant buffer zone around it. You can't really go anywhere near it. To look at this place is to stand on the fence line and look into a vast expanse of what looks like nothingness. The photograph is taken from about 44 miles away from, from where the actual site is. At that extreme distance, vision itself collapses. Literally, you can look as hard and with the most powerful equipment that you can and there is nothing to see. Because at those distances, there's so much heat and so much haze and so much turbulence in the atmosphere that the, 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 the photons that make up light are literally coming apart from each other. Color is literally coming apart. In terms of the technique itself, it involves using cameras, lenses, telescopes that are designed for taking pictures of distant planets or other stars or faraway galaxies even, and applying those to taking pictures of things on the ground. Now it turns out that it's harder to take a picture of, the, of something on the ground that's 30 or 40 miles away than it is to take a picture of Jupiter, for example, which is hundreds of millions of miles away. The reason for that is that, think about if you're looking up at Jupiter, you're looking through about five or six miles of thick atmosphere. The atmosphere starts to thin out and turns into space pretty quickly, actually. So you're really only looking through maybe five or six miles of, of really turbulent, thick atmosphere. If you're taking a picture of something on the ground 30 miles away, you know, you're essentially looking through six times as much air as you are if you're looking up at the sky. And consequently, uh, it's much harder to get any detail out of what it is that you're looking at. You come up against the physical limit of vision. That is really what you see in the photograph, is you see vision falling apart. Now, at the same time, it is a photograph of this weapons range, but it is also a photograph of the impossibility of trying to see this weapons range in a certain way. And so it's a very allegorical photo for me.